Hi, welcome to a Siemens NX12 video tutorial. First part in a series, and that series is about the variational sweep in Siemens NX. So, for this exercise, I used one line here, a 3D line, and one sketch. And with that variational sweep, I was able to create that surface. So, let's have fun with Siemens NX12. In order to use that tool, you have to proceed in a certain way. First, you need a guide curve. In this case, I want to use a line, a 3D line for as guide curve. So go for a line, let's start with a point at 0, 0, 0, that's OK. And the direction should be along XC, that would be OK. Yeah, and that value should be 1000, so the end should be at 1000. And confirm. Now I need a sketch, and you have to do that sketch in a certain way. So go for sketch, and you have to do a sketch on a path, not on a plane. So go for on path, select that path, and where should that plane be? That should be at the start point, so the location would be if you use percentage of arc length at 0%, like this, let's change the orientation like that and confirm. Now, in order to use it, just use that point, not that axis system, because if you have a guide curve different from a line, that might cause problems. So that profile should look something like this. I need fillets here, here and here, but first I can make it symmetric and add just one. So make this point aligned with that. That would be the start point of that line, like this. Now let's add a symmetry line because you don't want to use that set axis. So go again for that start point and maybe go up here and make this one just for reference. Now we can make it symmetric. So this one and that one would be symmetric to this one, and also this one should be symmetric to that one. OK. Let's add a dimension. This might be 1000. And I need this to be more like that. OK, and let's add some angles and fillets. So this angle should be maybe 60 degrees. And I need a fillet up here. And that radius should be maybe 200. Okay, and I need another dimension from this point to that line, and this might be 400. Now let's align this line with that point here. Not this point, but I need again that start point line of line with this one and that should be on that one. And that sketch is full constrained. And now I can leave that sketch. OK, so let's use that variational sweep. Should be somewhere 
down there and you select the section feature curves oh sorry I forgot I need here a fillet this should be 30 and finish that sketch okay so now let's go for that variational sweep select the section the guide is already defined by that sketch on path and you will get this surface and go for fit and now you could add sections just click here and you can position it uh, with points or with arc length and I will go for arc length so I need one at 400 and another one at 800 it falls back to a percentage so switch back to arc length 800 and now I can change the parameters of those sections that's quite nice so let's start with this one here so that angle will be 85 takes a while that radius here should be 120 and that dimension should be 200 then go to the next section this angle should be 80 that radius 130 that dimension 220 let's go to the next section that radius here should be 160 that angle 65 and this dimension here should be 360 and let's confirm this and I'm done so I hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fan page it would be very nice of you I want to go get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye